everybody. Good afternoon. Welcome back. Jiu Jitsu 2000 here today. I'm coming at you with an interesting video. Today I want to talk about the silky saws. Now you can see that I have in my hand, I have the silky Big Boy 2000. This is a great saw, but that's not the going to be the uh, star of the show today. I'm going to talk about another silky saw that I found out about that I really think I'm going to like. So let's take a look. We're going to look at the silky Katana Boy. This is the Katana Boy 500. Now what's really cool about these, there's a lot of things. This is the second largest folding saw in the world. Made in Japan, very proudly. This saw will cut large diameter uh, material. Let's take a look at the back of the packaging real quick. That's it. So let me read it to you. It says, unscrew the stopper. Press the stopper button to extend the blade. Make sure the blade locks into place and then re-tighten the stopper. And then to store the blade, it's the complete opposite. So these are silky saws. I found this on Amazon. Again, this is the Silky uh, Katana Boy 500. So let's open this up and see what's inside. So when I pull out of the box, and I'm checking to see if there's anything else. There's nothing else in the box. So in here, I have the Silky Katana Boy. This is a really nice, it feels like a nylon kind of material. Little bag that the saw's in. There is a important, please read the warning stuff, and there's something inside of there, some kind of label or something. Now on the back of this, you can see that there's a little compartment here. It's Velcro, so you open the Velcro. And this little compartment is a good place to store an additional blade for the saw if you chose to. It has a nice strap, and again, this looks like nylon type material. So you can strap that baby right on your back and cruise around like that. So I think it's pretty cool. But let's take a look at the saw itself. That's what we're here for, right? So let's rip open this nice case. I, I really like the case. It's got like a plastic insert inside. Not an insert, but it's, it looks like the case is almost like waterproof. Water resistant, I should say. So let's pull out the Silky Katana Boy 500. Let's look at the saw. You can see I need to unscrew this knob. Because if I don't unscrew this knob, I will not be able to push this button down. And I need to push that button down to open up to allow the blade to rotate. Now there's a little roll pin right here and it fits into this little groove right here. See that? The little roll pin right there and it kind of pops in to that little groove. So there's a look at that and then I would tighten this down. This grip has a very ergonomic feel. Here's a look at the blade. If you look at the blade thickness you'll notice the bottom of the blade closer to the teeth is thicker than the top of the blade. So the blade is thicker at the bottom, thinner at the top, and the reason they do that is so that when you're cutting your material, there's no drag on the blade. Now this saw has a very nice kind of teeth on it. Silky Katana Boy 5. Those teeth, I think, I think it's four teeth per square inch. Let me read here. Non-set teeth. The blade is taper ground. Okay, I talked about that. To reduce resistance, giving smoother, easier, fasting, faster cutting performance. Sharpenable. The blade can be sharpened with a file. Rubber grip. The rubber handle is comfortable to hold. It reduces vibration and offers superior grip when your hands are wet or cold or when you're wearing gloves. So there are five teeth per 30 millimeters or four teeth per inch. The blade length, 19.7 inches. Pretty cool. So let me, let me stand up here in the background. Let's take a look at, and see if I set this down, you can see about how tall the saw is in reference to me. It's about right here. So what I want to do, and these teeth are hardened teeth. 
these teeth will last about three times longer than a standard saws type of teeth. It says right here, there's a little label. It says, use caution when folding the blade. And it has a picture of you getting your hands. So you would undo the screw. You would push this button down. And, and of course, your hands are here. So you just make sure you have a good grip on the blade so that you don't jam right into your hands. Look at that. That could be bad, right? Because this thing is razor sharp. So you remove your hands. The blade fits in. And we lock it again. What The reason we lock it is so the blade can't come out when we have the saw. Now, you'll notice that the blade uh, handle housing here is a slightly bit longer than the blade itself. And I believe that's so that when you do a replacement blade, there's actually a blade that's longer. And I think they, they make the handle to accommodate for that. There's a nice little lanyard hole here. The blade itself has a very nice 90 degree sharp spine. So just like I did on the Big Boy 2000, you could use that to spark a, a ferro rod. You could use that to rough up some fatwood, make fire. So now I'm gonna take, I'm gonna go find a tree somewhere, hopefully one that's down, and we're gonna do some cutting with this saw. Wow, look at that, that is nice, thing does a good job. One thing I'd like to note is this saw seems to work really well when the object that you're cutting is stationary. So I'm going to cut this branch off and we'll see how quick I can cut this off. Let's get started here. This is just pure fat wood, I believe. That was pure fat wood, folks. Look at that. And that's huge. That's about Probably five or six inch diameter log there. Pure fatwood. Fatwood's hard to cut. So you can see that there's a oak tree and this very bottom branch that I'm looking at, that one's dead. Now oak is a hardwood. We're gonna go ahead and try this branch right here. Take a look. That is a large piece of wood. You can see that this thing does really well. This is a big piece of wood. I can take that back to the camp and split that up. And this isn't the largest that this will cut. So there's a closer look at the limb that I just cut off of this tree. This is hardwood. Okay, there in the distance is a very large pine tree. Now I'm not gonna cut this down, but I'm gonna walk over there and put the saw up to it. Just to show you the reference of the type of material size-wise that I could cut down with this saw. You can see that the blade is clearly long enough to allow me the stroking effort to cut something of this magnitude down if I had to. So I could totally cut that tree down if I wanted to. I'm not gonna though, it's a live tree. 
Here's my daughter cutting a piece of fat wood off of a fallen tree. This is a pretty good piece, pretty good sized piece of wood that she's cutting. This is her first time ever using a saw like this. So she's, this is her maiden voyage. And look at how smooth she's able to operate the saw. No problem at all. She's already halfway through. I'm going to zoom in and give you a view of the teeth. They're cutting action. You can see on this side over here, all the sawdust flying out of the way. Doesn't really take a lot of effort. The saw does the majority of the work for you. You notice her feet. She's got a good stable platform, a nice base, so that if something slips up here, she's got good footing. You're almost through it. Okay, look at those teeth just cutting away. You're almost through. Keep going, you're almost there. You're almost there, there you go. Check that out. Look at that. So look at this piece of wood that she just cut. Let me see how big that is. Yeah, look at that in, in reference to her hands. So that's a pretty good, and that's fat wood, so that's a pretty solid piece of wood. What do you think of the saw? I like it. It's, it's, it does a good job, huh? Mm -hmm. So doesn't, I didn't think it took much effort. Not much effort at all. So I've decided that I'm gonna cut right below where she cut, because I want the fat wood. It seems like I have to get the trail started before I can actually start cutting. So now I'm pretty close to being where I need to be. Look at that. That's solid. So that's the Katana Boy 5. That's a beautiful saw. Look at that fat wood, ain't that pretty? Mm-hmm. Crazy. I like it. I like it a lot. I think it's a nice saw. I think it's gonna be a good addition to our kit that we're probably gonna keep in the car. I would suggest that you could probably cut just about anything with this saw that you could cut with a small chainsaw. just folds right up you lock this down so it doesn't unfold on you my daughter decided she wanted to cut something else she said off camera that this thing cuts fast and I agree with her it really does look at that there's your piece of wood, sweetheart. Let's take a look. What do you think? I, I don't know. I just like it. It's it's four teeth per square inch, so it cuts. That's a big piece of wood, and that's hard wood. That's a, kind of a fat wood. Good stuff, huh? Yeah. Awesome saw. Pretty cool. Look at that. I mean, if you compare that, how big that is to my hand, and I have big hands. That's a large, large piece of wood compared to her hands. She has large hands, too. Yeah. That's a big piece of wood. Okay, folks, there's one more thing that I want to show you about this saw before I end this video. And that is when the blade is open, okay, obviously you can see that the blade uh, pin locks against those stops. But there's this little area right here, which is what I want to talk about. And that is when you're done doing all your cutting, and you push this button in, 
that pin will eventually catch this piece and what that does as long as you let this back down it'll rotate down and the pin will catch that pin that piece and it'll prevent you from hitting your fingers now if you keep this down of course it's going to bypass that so just a safety mechanism so right now the blades locked I push the button as soon as I clear that little notch I let the thing out and I keep my fingers out of the way anyway but you see right there it catches push it again and then I can close the blade so that the saw has that little added safety feature that I just wanted to make sure that you guys knew about so I'm gonna go ahead and put the saw back in the case and uh, man I'll tell you what folks this is a beautiful saw I've read about them people have said that they're good I've never used one until today and I am in agreement with them this is a beautiful saw very good very good job silky there is the Katana Boy 500 folks beautiful saw I hope you got some good useful information out of this video please feel free to leave your comments down below like this video share this video and if you like the content that you see on the channel please subscribe we'd love to have you and until next time folks have a beautiful day we'll talk at you next time bye bye